In this video, we're going to investigate what's going to happen to this quadrilateral here when we apply this matrix. Okay, so we've got 2, 1, 2, 1 being applied to, let's go start with 0, 0, work our way around clockwise. So then 0, 1, 2, 2, and then 2, 0. Okay, so we've got 2, 1 being applied to each of these. So we're going to get 0 first, then we're going to get 1, then we're going to get 4 plus 2, so 6, then we're going to get uh, 4 there, aren't we? So then 2, 1 applied to each of those, we can get the same thing, 0, 1, 6, and 4. Okay, so what's happened here? Well, we've got 0, 0 has remained fixed, as you probably expected it would do. We've got uh, 0, 1 being mapped to 1, 1. So let's pop that uh, there. Okay, we've got uh, 2, 2 being mapped to 6, 6, so somewhere up here, I can't really draw it exactly. And then we've got 2, 0 being mapped to 4, 4, so something like this. So actually, all four of those points have actually been mapped onto a single line. And so, what we can actually see is that this shape has been squashed down, and so it is all on a single line now. Now, how could we have determined that? Well, if we have a look at the determinant of this matrix, so the determinant of matrix A would be 2 times 1 take away 2 times 1, which is 0. And we know how the determinant of a matrix relates back to the area scale factor. So the area of the original shape has been multiplied by zero, effectively. And so the area, as you can see, would now be zero. Now it's easy to also see that all those points lie on the line y equals x. If you needed to work out what that line was, then what you can do is you can look at applying 2, 1, 2, 1 to uh, a general set of coordinates, so x, y, and just seeing what happens. Okay, so what would we get? 2, 1, multiplying with the x and y, so we can get 2x plus y, and 2, 1 being applied to the x, y, 2x plus y. And so you can see that the x coordinate here, the new x coordinate and the new y coordinate are both the same and so y's are equaling the x's and so that's why it's on the line y equals x okay so determinants of value zero will map all points onto a line going through the origin 